Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today we are going to talk about the Cleveland Browns and the NFL Draft. Round one of the draft was yesterday, and the Cleveland Browns, as expected, made some moves, made some trades. We moved from the 8th pick to the 15th pick, and then at the 15th pick, we took wide receiver Corey Coleman from Baylor. Now, I'm happy that we got a wide receiver, because we haven't had, like, a, we haven't drafted a wide receiver in the first round since, like, billions of years ago. <laughs> I'm glad we drafted a receiver. I think Corey Coleman was a good pick, but Corey Coleman was not necessarily the receiver that I wanted. Um, I really wanted Laquan Treadwell, but I'm happy that we got a receiver. Corey Coleman is a fast wide receiver. He can jump, he can make one-hand catches, he's athletic, he's just a playmaker. And the Browns have not had a playmaker on offense in a long time, since Josh Gordon. He's a good deep threat, and I think he's going to be good in Hugh Jackson's offensive system. I think Hugh Jackson was the guy that probably picked him, so I'm glad that Hugh Jackson got his guy. A lot of people are comparing him to Travis Benjamin because he's not seven feet tall. Oh, Corey Coleman's 5'10 and fast. So is Travis Benjamin. Here's the difference, though. Travis Benjamin weighed like 130 pounds and he couldn't break a tackle. Corey Coleman weighs like 200 and something pounds. He's buff. He's got muscle unlike Travis Benjamin and he can break a tackle. He can take a hit. Travis Benjamin couldn't take a hit. He was too small. The only thing Travis Benjamin had going for him was, oh, he's fast and he's a deep threat. Corey Coleman's a deep threat, he's fast, but he's also strong, unlike Travis Benjamin. So, I think Corey Coleman is probably going to be better than Travis Benjamin. So yeah, welcome to Cleveland, Corey Coleman. So now it's time for the second round of the NFL Draft and the third round. Um, as of now, we have the 32nd pick, but we also have Wheelin and Dealin, Sashi Brown. Assuming we stay at 32, there are a couple of things that I want. If you want to get a quarterback in this draft, which I'm not sure if they even want a quarterback in this draft, um, I'm starting to think that they're going to roll with Robert Griffin III. Uh, I think that he's the quarterback that Hugh wants. But if you want to get a quarterback in this draft and you want to take one now, I guess the only quarterback you'd take at 32 would be Connor Cook. Um, I would be okay with Connor Cook. I don't think he's going to be like a Hall of Fame quarterback, but I think he's going to be an okay quarterback. And um, if you don't take Connor Cook, I would be okay with us getting another pass catcher because you literally have Corey Coleman, Brian Hartline, and Gary Barnage. Those are your pass catchers. You're going to need a couple more pass catchers. If we don't take Connor Cook, I think we could take running back Derrick Henry. Uh, I think he could be our number one running back because we really don't have a number one running back. We got Duke Johnson. He's not a number one running back. We've got Isaiah Crowell. He's not a number one running back. I think Derrick Henry could be a number one running back for the Browns. Or we could go defense or we could trade down again. In all honesty, I would not be that upset if we traded down again. We need more picks because we need to draft players because we don't have anybody. <laughs> So yeah, second round starts at 7 o'clock. I want us to take, we have the first pick. I want us to take either Connor Cook, uh, Derrick Henry, or a pass catcher, whether it be another wide receiver or a tight end. So yeah, I like the Corey Coleman pick. Uh, second round starts tonight. Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks for more NFL, NBA, Cleveland Cavaliers, and Cleveland Browns videos. Cavs play Atlanta on Monday. Get your brooms out. I'm hoping for a sweep. I think we can sweep the Hawks. I think we can sweep literally any team in the East not named Miami Heat. And they might not even beat Charlotte. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.